goddamn what rush. What's up lovely people, Martin Jensen here and this is the world's largest force hammer. As I was uh, riding the cosmos, I spotted this huge hammer and just zapped myself down here to Norway Nesom. Bam! It's located right next to a biker's club called Hydra. You know, the mythical monster with uh, many heads. Take one down and two shows up the next day, just like the bikers promise. So this is actually the point where Norse mythology meets Greek mythology. I just love it. Enough said, now it's hammer time. This baby is seven meters long and three meters high, weighing in at several hundred kilos. And man, it's a looker. It's made up of uh, steel bars on the inside and also glass fiber and foam. In Norse mythology, Thor's hammer or Mjölnir or Mjölnir, as we Vikings call it, was the greatest of all the weapons. And it translates it who grinds and crushes to dust. The hammer was made by the dwarven smith Broki and Sindre. And it contains the power of lightning. And when Thor threw Mjölnir, it would return to his hand. The old story goes that one time Thor lost the hammer and Loki found out that the Jotne Trim had stolen it and he refused to give it back before he was allowed to marry the most beautiful of all the goddesses, Freya. And what happens next is that Thor dresses up as Freya with two rocks for <whistles> and Loki dresses as his wedding maid. When they get the hammer from Trim's mother as a wedding present, Thor crushes all the Jotne with the hammer and goes home. A great tale right there, folks. The Viking warriors used Thor's hammer pendants around their necks. And as a symbol of the most powerful weapon, they most likely drew strength and courage from it when facing their enemies. Hydra smacked their logo right on the hammer's head. It's a pig! And a story for another day. On the shaft, in runes, it says Ragnarok is coming. Hmm. Enjoy your Ragnarok, folks.